in your own words, tell me about the opportunity you were given today and what you think about it. Well, I think the opportunity today is an experience that I know Dan Snowberg is very excited about and I'm very excited. Our presenter seems very knowledgeable and very excited and she's quite entertaining, so I'm looking forward to seeing how the rest of the day goes. Yeah, I think today is about putting all of the pieces together to help our staff really connect and understand all of the initiatives and all of the state requirements that are going on right now so that we can really um, have some clarity and validation in the work that we're doing. Why is it important to get out of school and all come together in this common forum to, to do that, what you said about putting the pieces together? Yeah, so that we have our sense of teamwork and collaboration and so that we can um, you know, really put our heads together to make sure that we have the same vision moving forward. I think that's going to be what's best for kids if we all have that same vision and that same goal, that okay. common goal. Now we're talking about um, 191 and uh, a lot today and just as a principal and a teacher standing there together, what do you hope, you know, in the implementation of 191, what do you hope to get out of teachers and what do you hope to get out of your administration as we move forward in this process? Well, I have to say, already with Vanessa coming in and observing, I've gotten some great feedback and some great um, new lessons I've tried because of her feedback and I think that that's making me a better teacher and, and that's what I hope continues to come. And I think that is the goal, is to just increase our teacher effectiveness and our lessons to make them better and more engaging for those kids. Yeah, I think SB 191 is really cutting to the heart of what we're all in the profession for, which is about student learning, making sure that our students are act actively engaged in their learning. And so as a principal, what I want to do is be able to go into classrooms and help support teachers um, to ensure that all of our students really have that high level of engagement and to um, ensure that I can support them finding the tools and resources needed to do the very best that they can with our students because our students are the most important asset that we have in our community. And do you have concerns about 191, either maybe having the time to, to get to spend with your teachers or being evaluated in a, in a fair and meaningful way? Talk to, just talk about your concerns maybe and how something like this helps you alleviate those concerns. I, I think the goal of the 191 is really going to be beneficial for teachers. I, at this time, don't have any concerns. I love constructive criticism, and I think that makes teachers a better teacher, and if that's going to make me a better teacher, then I'm open and I'm excited to see how it works. And I mean, I think, and also teachers evaluating teachers, I think we all have phenomenal things that we do as teachers and sharing those with our peers is a very, I think, very important step of our profession. Yeah, I think change is always kind of scary for people and so I think that um, there's been a lot of hype about SB 191 that can make some people feel intimidated. I don't really have any concerns because I think that this is the right direction for kids. Um, but I guess the biggest concern that I would have is that people within our profession um, put up roadblocks individually um, to not um, move forward with some of these changes that will really help support our learning. And I think that Dan Snowberger, our superintendent, has done a really great job of bringing in um, a lot of the common formative assessment piece, so that 50% of a teacher's evaluation based on student performance, when we have our CFAs in place, I think will be really beneficial to our schools. Okay. Last question I have for you is just, um, you know, we, we think about professional development and teachers doing their professional development, maybe administrators going on somewhere else and doing their thing. What's the, the importance of, of having you guys here in the same room together listening to the same material as we're going on SB 191 and other change? I think it's to have a common vision and a common goal. I think that's very important that teachers want, or know what is expected and um, share that vision with the principals instead of just the principals having that vision and absolutely. telling us what it is. Yeah, absolutely. We have to have a shared vision and so that we can move forward together and all be on the same page. And so I think that that's been really great. And the fact that we're all sitting with our schools and in our circles at tables has been really helpful so that we can, you know, have our little um, conversations to make those connections together and figure out how, you know, because at Sunnyside, we are really doing a great job of implementing all of this already. And so now it's about taking it to the next level.
And so today's providing us with that opportunity as a team to do that.